Hello everyone. Welcome to our course Day 10 The Seven Secret of a Phenomenal Relationship. How are you today? And how is your relationship now? How do you feel about yourself and your partner? What do you feel? Today we're going to discover you come fast, my love, the power of alignment, skill six, undercover and create alignment. What do you think? How to create alignment in your relationship? What does it mean to you? What do you think? And now you just think about what does it mean alignment for you? If you have alignment in your relationship, how your relationship like and what does it mean to you? I can say this session is going to change your life and change your relationship. Because I'm you have to promise with yourself which homework I'm going to give to you. You have to do this homework. This is homework for you, no for me. I'm going to ask you so many questions today. You're going to answer these questions. Are you ready to change your life and change your relationship? Today, we're going to discover about you and your partner and these skills you can use in your business, in your work, or anywhere where you want to really build a good relationship. Okay? Are you ready to? understand it are you ready to change your life say yes say yes okay now before we can start the session now you can think about five things in your life you really grateful for this think five things you really grateful for this think about five things you really grateful for this think Think about it. Okay, you already thought about it. And what do you feel when you think about this grateful five things? In, I don't know, you have so many. But now you just only think about only five. Okay, now you're smiling. Well done. Before we can start the session, can you do breathing exercise? I know why I do breathing exercise because we have so many negative thoughts in our mind, in our heart. When we do take deep breathing, we release these emotions, we release this tiredness. As a reason, before we start the session, I really want your mind to be clear. You can more focus and you can have more understanding this. That's right? Now you can have a take three deep breaths. Take a deep breath from your belly, from your stomach. One. Two. Three. Another thing, if you really want to focus something, you can do this mat. Maybe three times you can say, Oh. Give you more access in your mind, you feel relaxed and you more focus. You learning and you will enjoy it. You feel better now? I feel much better now. Okay, now this is our skill six. Uncover and create alignment. What is alignment in your relationship? What is your definition? Alignment in a relationship means that you're living, loving in the same direction as someone else love passion abundance success you smiling all day happy all the time in the happy state and glorious success in your life when you see your partner just you always have excitement feeling 
I can see that. If you don't take the time and effort to align your vision, core value and passion with your partner, it will slowly start to take a toll on your relationship. What do you think? Another thing, relationship should never feel difficult. If you feel like you need to be someone else in order to satisfy your partner's need or if you fight so much so that you're unhappy and frustrated all the time, it's time to rethink your relationship with someone. You have to think about, rethink why you're unhappy in the relationship and frustrated in the relationship all the time. Think about what's a missing, which need is missing. You can meet this need in your relationship. What this? What's a missing? Think about. Another thing, when you have unhappy state, just think what was is a message to you. When you have a frustrated feeling, what's a message to you? We already do exercise, change the word. Change your feeling. Think about what's a message for this. Because every single thought is something messy for us. What is a message to you? What need to change? Think about. Change your approach. Change your communication way. Change your perception. Change your expectation. You have to think about when you have these kind of feelings. I know that, but we already know this. Building and maintaining a healthy relationship is ongoing work in progress in our world. Because if you for same in our body, if you know have a healthy diet, our body is going to be unwell. Same if we know look after our relationship, if we know give the time, if we know maintain healthy relationship is going to be worse. Same. You have to put effort in. Do you know, nowadays, we have the big problem. Social, in our world of social networking, it can become even more challenge not to fall into the trap of online illusion and fantasy. We're happy because there's so many couples coming to see me most of the time the cause of problem is the social media, Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, so many things. What do you think? We already know that social media, we have advantage, we have disadvantage. But when it's coming to your relationship, it comes to creating and maintaining healthy relationship in this world, instant change many relationship marriage have fallen to the because the social media because we want a happy relationship but do you know what creates social media in your relationship most of the time is a social anxiety fear insecurity physical issues Social media may also negatively impact on your relationship. Maybe we will discover social media can negatively affect relationship when you start comparing yourself to other people, including your friends just based on their social media account, where they go holiday, which hotel they stay, which dress they bought, what do you think? Are you comparing yourself with your friends? Think about Be honest. It makes you upset. For example, some may fear they live aren't as good as their partner. Maybe they think we don't have that kind of luxury life they have got. And sometimes they feel they are not good enough. That impact on self-esteem, really on your self-esteem. 
you say i'm not good enough i'm not good looking i'm i need to lose my weight what do you think what social media give us social anxiety fear insecurities physical issues we feel low we feel we know good enough what do you think may you get be honest but this is a big impact on the marriage life on the relationship boyfriend girlfriend they say you have to share the password with me facebook instagram you have to share the password what are you doing who is speaking with you most of the time i can see this is a new trend if i trust you i have to i have to share my password with you facebook password instagram password most of the time people couples they have started argument because they know share their password cuz last recently one girl came to see me they say big issue because her husband doesn't want to share the password facebook and instagrams she say why he is not sharing the password with me i can see this is a trust issue now what do you think if you know mine can you make a list negative effects of social media on your relationship or marriage what are they can you make a list then we can work on it make it list unhappy relationship jealousy unfaithfulness what do you think and you have a low self esteem and you have a social anxiety make a list then we can work on it how we can change our thoughts how we can change our patterns how we overcome this anxiety make all notes please what do you think what can we do to ensure that we find alignment and fulfillment in our relationship what do you think what should we do how do we compete with the issues online and prevent distrust and jealousy from destroying not only our relationship but our mental health what do you think how do we compete with the social media's issue and prevent distrust and jealousy from destroying not only our relationship but our mental health what do you think what should do how often do you feel upset when you see your friends they have gone holiday they stay in the good hotel or you couldn't afford it how many time how often do you upset how often you feel i'm not enough when you see their pictures what do you think i can see we have to we have to talk about fast social anxiety do you have social anxiety when you have a social anxiety what do you think in your mind how do you create a picture think about this because this is a big issue in the relationship do you think party make you nervous you get so anxious in a social situation you feel awkward you feel shy you hate meeting new people you feel anxious you can handle eye contact you have you spend so much money on the makeup so you can look good what do you think what's your negative thought when you think about social anxiety write it down or you think people don't like you do you think like that do you think you don't enough my partner maybe don't like me because i don't use a social media some people they say if you don't use a social media you have out of fashion what do you think how often do you check your social media how many people like your picture 
How many people comment on your picture? What do you feel? Have nobody like your picture? Have so many people like your picture? What do you feel? Because if you think so many people like your picture, this meaning you give control your happiness to them. If they like your picture, you're happy. If they don't like your picture, you're unhappy. If so many people comment on your picture, then you're happy. If nobody liked, unhappy. That's meaning you have to check your happy control. Who handling this? People? You don't know them? Are they important in your life? If they comment or they like your picture? You have to think about this. This is very serious problem these days now. So many people come to see me for coaching. Most of the time, there's only that problem. Think about this. Okay, another thank you. If you really need a help, you can book a coaching session with me so I can help you. If you have really deep blueprint, I can help you. But... I can see if you think this way, you have social anxiety very high level, maybe you can write 0 to 10. What's your social anxiety level? 0 to 10. Write it down. Because if you feel low, if you're not happy, if you don't feel enough, you're all the time angry, unhappy, frustrated. That's right. So you have to change this pattern. You have to change. You have to break away from negative thoughts. Are you ready to break away from negative thoughts? You want to break through your negative thoughts? I'm repeating, if you let go this negative thought, what would happen in your life? What would happen if you change your negative thought? Think about it. If you don't change your negative thought, what would happen if you did it? What do you think? If you change, you feel more confident, you feel more happy, write your own reasons. And second question, what would happen if you didn't change your negative thought regarding social anxiety? What would happen if you didn't change your negative thought Regarding social anxiety, you think I'm not enough, I'm not worthy, I'm not good looking, I'm not beautiful, anything what you think about. And want what prevent you? What prevents you? Think about consider these questions and answer them. Be honest. Are you ready to change this, your negative thoughts? If you have a social anxiety, if you think nobody likes your pictures, and you think you're not pretty, you're not handsome, that's me, you have to fix it. Most of the time, when the people, oh, 200 people like my picture, 1,000 people like my picture, what do you think? come out this illusion and if you have a feeling distrust jealousy because this is destroying your relationship and your mental health Ashray, are you ready to change your negative thought regarding yourself and if you have a short anxiety okay we're going to share with you positive affirmation you know some people think my affirmations no work have you noticed why because they don't believe in it they don't trust in it because when you say because sometimes because most of the time if you're repeating something i'm not good enough i'm not good enough your mind used to see things i yeah it's take a time to change your pattern it's take a time to Accept your mind. It's take a time because so many years you're still repeating the negative thoughts. It won't happen in 24 hours. You have to repeat almost 21 days or 42 days. 
it will work 100% work because you can see all successful people they have used their mind power they have used affirmation power another thing if you really want more understanding how to use your mind power you can join our 90 days one to one coaching program we offer a two week group we offer the group coaching session and we group individual coaching session i can really help you then you can dig deep about your mind power how does it work how you can create abundance love success in my life you can use this power okay now we're going to listen positive affirmation if you really want to overcome your social anxiety and your social media fear so you must listen it 21 days least 21 days and feel it and you can listen twice twice morning and before you go sleep you will create phenomenal results it's really help you because when you are happy when you have a happy state then you treat differently people especially with your partner when you trust your partner when you have a full confident you have a different feeling with everything are you agree with me okay now we're going to see soon we're going to i'm going to share with you some very powerful positive affirmation which really help you break through your negative patterns ready are you ready okay see you soon